Five must-have date-based automations. Let's jump right in. First, I'm gonna provide a summary of where we're going, and then we're gonna cover each of these individually. We're gonna talk around placement start and end dates, the happy birthday automation, all around the client interview date, around the candidate date available, and lastly, around an internal screening interview. So a campaign around placement start and end date are a great example of date-based automations. You can do onboarding, congratulations on placement, placement touch points, redeployment, right? any of those communications all center around the start and the end date of a placement. It's a great thing to leverage and utilize. Happy birthday automation. Of course, you would center this around the birthday of a candidate. It's simple, but also a nice value add that you can provide. So you can send a nice little message whenever it is your candidate's birthday. Next is all around the client interview. So the date of the client interview, you can send confirmation when the interview gets booked, interview best practices and tips so that both sides of the interview is fully prepared and know what to expect. You can provide a reminder as the interview is approaching so that nobody forgets about it. And then you can also follow up after the interview takes place to see how it went, right? And kind of gauge the satisfaction on both sides. Lots of touch points that can center around the interview date with a client. Next date-based must-have is around the candidate date available. So you can utilize this date field to have your candidates let you know when they wanna hear from you next. So it allows you to gain powerful business intelligence. You can get some forecasting in there, get that, that data updated, but then you can start to predict and know kind of accurate candidate inventory counts, those types of things, all by leveraging that. And then of course, creating automations to follow up with people as their date available date becomes today, for example. The fifth must have is all around kind of your internal screening process. It's an, you know, an, an interview, internal interview. You know, you can again do similar things around that date and you know, provide confirmation um, and the best practices, what they need to prepare so they can ace it a reminder so that you don't get any no call no shows or reduce those greatly and then follow up afterwards to see how you can improve the process how it was viewed from their perspective and go on there and i'm also going to provide a hidden sixth must have use case this is around candidate or client newsletters you can use a fixed based automation fixed date based automation inside of herefish to accomplish that and then the great thing about that is you can change that date. So for example, you could have your April newsletter that sends out at a certain day of the month in April, you have a dynamic list of who it's all going to, but then when your May newsletter is about to go out, you can just edit that existing automation. You don't have to worry about the list. You can allow those folks to re-enter, and you can just change that automation so then you can send out your next newsletter whenever you want to. So it can be a great way to get all of your metrics for newsletters all into one automation, into one place, and that way it keeps things neat and tidy for you.